Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Village Upgrade series. In today's episode we are going to upgrade the Mason's house. The Village Upgrade series follows three basic rules. One, the dimensions and features of the upgraded buildings will be kept the same. Two, I'm using the original block palette of the Plains Village. And three, in addition I'm going to use some basic complementing materials to add more detail. With the rules out of the way, let's start building. Alright guys, let's start off with the foundation. Remove the fence and replace the cobblestone with stone brick and mossy blocks. Also, next to the stair you can add two walls and then bring down the wooden frame to the floor. On the side wall, also replace the foundation with the same blocks and bring down the wooden frame. And also do the same thing to the back wall. Next let's get to the walls. First remove the wooden frame and replace it with the white terracotta. Then you can also highen up the window to two blocks and put some decoration above it. For the door you can also put in a stair above it. And to finish it off put some buttons next to the window and the door to decorate it. On the side wall, you can first remove the old roof to make place for the two block high window. Also to separate the wall a little bit more from the foundation, use some signs on the floor. And then you can copy it to the other side. On the back wall, you can use the same techniques as on the side walls, but just put in two windows. Next let's get to the roof. The shape of this house is the same as on the small library we upgraded last time, so we are just going to reuse the roof from there. To get the right shape, build up 4 stairs with a slab on the last one, then a full block to the side and another slab up with a stair underneath it. Also you can once again copy it to the other side. For the side walls, first finish up the wall and then go up 3 stairs with a slab on top and then a full block in the middle. In this way we create a little dormer over our window and again copy it to the other side. For the roof trim, first replace all of the old roof and then connect the front and the back using a full block. Then put in three trapdoors to round off the shape and use buttons as details. Next also connect the side to the middle part using slabs. And once again you can use buttons as details. Finally, you can fill in the roof using cobbled deep slate blocks and slabs. Next, you can add some greenery all around the building to integrate it more into the environment. Finally, we are going to decorate the porch. First, put back in the flower pot we destroyed earlier and then use trapdoors and signs to detail our porch even more. Also, put in the sign we used on the rest of the walls and texture the floor a little bit more. Then, you can use some fitting blocks like a blast furnace, barrels 
and of course the stone cutter to decorate the porch. For the smaller details I use pressure plates, amethyst shirts, flower pots or even a skeleton skull to look like a smaller rock. Finally, use oak trapdoors to bring everything together. The interior decoration is as always up to you, but here are as always some of my inspirations. And that's it for the stonemason's house. I hope I could give you some inspiration for your own village. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel and watch the playlist to find some more building tutorials. See you in the next one.